We can use compound clips here in DaVinci Resolve to combine several clips into one, which might be easier to work with, or for what we're gonna look at here in applying a transition here, at least at the uh, uh, top right here. So as you can see, we have two different elements on top of this clip right here, right? We have a text element and we have this call out, this uh, like call out right there. And when I play back, it goes to the next clip. It looks kind of unnatural, right? For that to just go off a screen. So what we want to do is fade that out or cross dissolve it out. So I'll zoom in a bit here. So of course we can come up to our effects library and grab my cross dissolve. I can grab my cross dissolve. I can grab my cross dissolve three times, right? Okay. Play that back. Okay. So that's not bad, but we had to do that three times. Now, of course we know if you've been following along, we can also apply transitions with our shortcut. So I might want to just uh, select uh, this side here in selection mode. I can just select that side, use my shortcut there, select this side, shortcut there, select the middle shortcut there, or of course in uh, trim mode a little bit quicker there, just grab all of those and put all those cross dissolves in at once, again, using my backslash key that we set up in a previous video. So again, not horrible, but we have three cross dissolves where really we should just need one, right? So that's where a compound clip comes in. Let's control Z out of all of that. Go back to selection mode here and let's go ahead and create a compound clip. So we'll select our top clip and I'll just shift select these other ones. I'll right click and say new compound clip. Now I can give this a name if I want. Let's just leave it to compound clip three. That's fine for me because I'm not gonna reuse this one here. Click create and there we go. Now all of those elements have been collapsed down or what you might think of as nesting if you use Premiere Pro. Our compound clips in DaVinci are sort of like, you know, nesting uh, in Premiere Pro. So now we have the same elements as you can see. The light comes out, slides out, okay, boom. So now I can go ahead and apply my cross dissolve to just this one clip instead of three. So I can of course grab it or just use our shortcut, drop it right on there. Now I just have one cross dissolve. Awesome, much easier, much uh, quicker to work with. And creating a compound clip can also be very helpful if you have a ton of different elements all stacked up, you know, three, four, five, six layers high, you can collapse all of those down to just one or two layers to make it easier uh, to work with. Now, what if I have changed my mind and I don't want that like to come out there? I want subscribe instead. Well, we have a couple different options. The quickest one, the easiest one is to just right click our compound clip and come up here to where it says decompose in place. Click that. As you can see, now everything has been exposed again or decomposed from our compound clip. And I can go ahead and I can get rid of that like button. And then I can grab my subscribe right here, trim that up. And then now we have our subscribe in there. I'd of course have to come up here to my inspector and put it in the proper position about there. Okay. Then I could go ahead and compound those again there we go i'll just grab my edit point and click my uh, shortcut and there is our dissolve boom simple and easy now you also have the option of uh, opening this in a timeline opening our compound clip in a new timeline so to do that right click and choose open in timeline that's going to open a different timeline here with just the elements of our compound clip I can then come in here and change things or remove things or add uh, add things. I could even uh, just say, get a completely different clip uh, in here. There we go. All right, new compound clip. Then come down here where it says timeline one. I'll just double click there to go back to my main timeline. And now we're back to timeline one. And our composition here is of course uh, updated as you can see. Okay. Also, whenever we create a compound clip, it gets put over here in our bin so we can reuse it uh, really quickly if we want to. Now this time, instead of grabbing our actual video clip here, I'm just gonna grab our two elements, okay? Because we also have her down here as well, and maybe I wanna use the same elements across her right there. So I don't need to recreate any of this. I'm just gonna grab these two clips, right click, new compound clip. Let's call this um, call out, create that. So there is our new, compound clip and over here in our bin, you can see it right there. I can hover over it and see it. 
as long as I have our live media preview on there, I can just hover, hover right over it. And then I can come down here in my timeline right here, grab this from my media pool and drop it right on top. And we have it. Okay. And it's not just video clips that we can compound. We can also uh, use audio at the same time. So let's say we have this right here. I'll just throw it right into the project, sort of an intro perhaps. And then grab some music, grab this here, and just pull that right in, trim it up here, let me turn it down here, and trim it up, and take a look at that. Right, it looks kind of cool. Now maybe I want to reuse that somewhere else, so I can quickly just select both of those, right click, and create a compound clip. We'll name this, uh, my intro, and now we'll have that down here in our bin. So then if I wanted to use that, just get rid of that there, I can grab it right from my bin, my compound clip with my video and my audio and just drop it right in. And I have my intro all ready done here. Make sure I have link on there. So these will be linked when I move it. And then we have our intro that we can use all across our timeline, anywhere we want, or of course, you know, any other kind of an element that you're gonna be using over and over again. Just create a compound clip of that, head to your bin and throw it into your timeline over and over again. And of course, it's not just uh, one or two elements. I could even do, say, our entire sort of runner's uh, sequence right up here. So if I wanted to turn this whole thing into a compound clip, I could do that as well. So I'll just grab all of it and we'll right click, say new compound clip and give it a name, maybe um, uh, running or something like that. Go ahead and create that. So now everything is you know, compounded down into one compound clip that I can then move around my timeline much easier than having to deal with those separate clips. Or of course, if it's something that we're gonna reuse, I can grab it right here in my media pool and throw it across my timeline over and over again real quick. And let's do it again. I'm gonna grab this like, throw it right in here. Go ahead and position it over and down over to the side of the screen. And maybe I want some sort of a uh, whoosh with that as well. I'll just throw this down here. Let me mute this track just so I can see what we're doing here. Move this back here. No good for that swoosh. Let me get rid of that one and we'll grab a different one. Let's come up here and I already have this typed in and we'll grab this one here instead. Throw this one in and turn it down. Okay, not bad. So say I want to use this element you know, over again. Well, let's just create a compound clip of our like button. And in this case, make sure I select control or command on Mac to select our two clips there. Right click, new compound clip, call it like with audio, create that, have our compound clip, move it around the timeline now. Let's leave that one right there, squeeze this down head over here to our bin, right here it is. Grab it and throw it in right here as well. See the audio is right there, video is right there. And something else you could do with say a compound clip like this, right? We'll go ahead and compound this here. Again, you can see it right there. So say I wanted to zoom in on all of these clips. Well, now that they're a compound clip, I can select it go to my inspector. Now you can see the compound clip is selected. I could do things like our, you know, our composite mode for everything. There's nothing underneath it right now, so this doesn't make any sense, but I could zoom up everything, right? So now every single one of these clips is zoomed up because we're zooming up the entire compound clip, right? Same thing for position, rotation angle, whatever uh, you wanna do there is all affected across every single one of those clips, kind of like you can do with an adjustment clip that we looked at uh, in a different video. So you can use your compound clips 
to do effects or even like keyframing or something like that. You know, if I wanted everything zoomed up, so sort of like in a linear zoom all the way up to right here, I could of course pop on my keyframes right there, come back here, move everything out and everything over. Then whenever we play that back, every single clip, it has this sort of linear zoom. Uh, and by linear, I just mean from you know beginning to end. Everything is moving, as you can see, the entire time there. We could just grab some sort of an open effect here. We'll just say our abstraction that we used in a different video, put that on my compound clip. Now, that is obviously going to affect everything in our compound clip all at once. So instead of having to apply that on every single clip or using an adjustment layer or adjustment clip, as they're called here, we could put it on a compound clip uh, as well. What if I had a bunch of, say, swooshes or sound effects here that I wanted to use over and over again or something? Do the same thing, of course, with the, uh, you know, with our audio, of course. Select all those, right click, new compound clip, call it whatever you want, audio, create that. Then I could adjust the level, say of all my swooshes or whatever, all at once right there, of course, up here in the inspector. I can, of course, change the volume of everything all at once. I can reuse this comp, essentially a comp of audio, you know, all throughout my timeline as well, either by copying and uh, you know, holding alt and making a copy here or by grabbing it in, uh, you know, in my bin and just dragging it out and reusing a uh, sort of complex uh, sound effects uh, sequence that you might wanna use over and over again. Of course, there are other ways to adjust multiple audio files as we've already, uh, as we've already seen, but this is yet another one by using compound clips on your audio as well. So that is using compound clips here in DaVinci Resolve, a great way to sort of compound down a big composition in your timeline to save space, to be able to uh, you know put one transition on something, or of course, to be able to reuse things over and over again really quickly by creating that compound clip.